we're here today in a research setting where university researchers are trying to leverage science and technology to raise more abundant, safer, and more affordable meat for the American consumer. And I'm here with Dr. Jason Lusk of Oklahoma State University. And we know that some people really are uncomfortable with the use of science and technology in producing meat products. What do you have to say to people who feel that way? I think when we look at almost any other area of our life, we avidly embrace technologies. So I rented a car the other day and it didn't have power uh, windows or it didn't have power locks and it was, I didn't know what to do. And so we look at those things and we know we really like those technological advancements. And the same is true in other areas of our life, whether it's cell phones or DVDs or air conditioning. And so the same is true about food and, and agriculture, that the technologies we have here have made farming easier. It's made food less expensive and it's improved environmental impacts. We get more food using less resources. So I think when I look at food, when I look at technology in food and agriculture, I see a lot of really big benefits that we enjoy as consumers and as producers. Does science and technology negatively impact food safety and animal welfare? So actually technology can be used to improve some of those outcomes. It doesn't have to be something that has a, has a detriment. So let's take, for example, technology used by meat packers. A lot of that technology is used to reduce bacterial contamination and make sure the products that we get as consumers are safer and are much less likely to cause us illness. And likewise, we can use technology on the farm that can improve uh, animal welfare outcomes. For example, we don't want animals stressed. Uh, farmers don't want their animals stressed because they're not going to grow as productively. And animals that are stressed are not going to make good tasting meat. So there are a lot of technologies and practices that, that producers can use that also have benefits for the consumer. Well, when a technology is used on a farmer or ranch, what's the level of government oversight of something like a medication or a feed supplement? So several regulatory agencies are involved in evaluating the safety of products that are used in uh, human food. So the FDA, for example, regulates a lot of products and these products are studied by uh, university researchers, by government researchers. And so I, I believe that consumers can be confident in our food safety system and in, the, in our regulatory approach for deciding which technologies can and cannot be used. There's a big call to turn the clock back and return to the way our grandparents raised livestock. What do you say to people who feel better about that kind of approach? I think what I would ask them to do is to take a hard look at, at what farm life was like and what food was really like 40 or 50 years ago. And I think what they'd see is that if they had that kind of lifestyle, they'd be paying much more for food. Uh, food quality would be lower, safety would be lower. Um, and for those people working on the farm, I think their farm lives would be more difficult. Uh, one of the reasons that farmers embrace technology is it makes a difficult living less difficult. So farmers embrace these technologies and take them on because it makes their lives easier and better. So what's your bottom line message to somebody who's really worried about our high-tech food production system? So I think when I look at the, the recent history, a lot of the changes I see in food and agriculture are really positive. These technologies can actually help us address some of the most pressing problems that are facing food and agriculture. If you're worried about the environment, we should be thinking about how can we get more food using less water, less land, less resources, and the only way we're going to be able to do that is by adopting technologies. And the same can be said in terms of health and in terms of animal welfare. So I'm personally very optimistic about the ability of technology to solve some of our most pressing problems.